Hi guys, as you can see in the title, it's another empties video and let's just get right started. First, my project pen empties. Um, it's actually not completely empty, it's just in a different container. See my project pen video, it's the loose setting powder from Aldi Lacura. Would I repurchase? I don't know. I really like the powder, but I have so many, so I can't imagine at the moment repurchasing anything. But let's see. But I liked it. Then the number, that's actually not the number seven, Ugh, I'm talking wrong. Um, in this um, bottle was an Aldi Lacroix setting spray, which I think was like a copy of the Urban Decay setting spray. It's a good setting spray. Um, would I repurchase? Probably not, um, because I kind of, I don't really find the setting sprays necessary, um, but might change my mind in future. Then I finished up a perfume, Le Interdit, I think, from Givenchy. Wouldn't repurchase that one. It was okay to use, but I'm not the biggest fan. Um, I'm running through my empties, as you can see quite quickly. Then next one, Lacroix. Um, Concealer. This, I think, was a copy of the Tarte Shape Tape. I wouldn't repurchase this one. It's a good concealer, concealing-wise. It's very pigmented, very good concealing, but um, it has a really floral scent, a really strong floral scent, which I do not like. Then Estee Lauder. This is the Futurist Aqua Brilliance Watery Glow Primer. Um, this one was an okay primer. I wouldn't repurchase, though, because when it came too close to my eyes, um, it made my eyes burn, and I did not like that, especially a product you put on the face. Then I emptied a lipstick from Kiko Milano. Um, this one was from their Dolce Vita range. Um, cream Glam Lips Styler, not Cream Lips. This one I did not like formula-wise. I really like the packaging, very nice sleek lipstick design, but um, it just made my lips very dry. I always had to use it with a lip balm in conjunction. Then I finished up Cotton Buds from Sien. That's a brand you can buy in Lidl. Really like it because the Cotton Buds, cotton buds are however, made from paper. So they have like a paper stick in the middle. And the packaging as well is all paper. So very environmentally friendly. Really like it. Would definitely repurchase and have already repurchased. Then I finished up the Caring Hand Wash. Um, we got this one as a present when we moved into our new house last year. I say new house. We're still renovating. Um, would I repurchase? Probably not. I wouldn't look out for that specific brand. I do try also to use soap bars as much as possible because they're just a bit more environmentally friendly. Then I also finished up the Lacroix Garden Mint and Bergamot Hand Lotion. Really like this one. Um, nice glass bottle. I might actually try to clean this one and use for something else because the pump still works well. And yeah, it was a nice hand cream. Would I repurchase? Um, I actually would if I would see it again in Aldi. Then... Shower gel wise, um, we finished up a sweet ginger lily shower gel. This is um, a copy from Morton Brown shower gel, bought in little though, really cheap, I think £1.20. Um, wouldn't we purchase this one though? The scent was just not my favourite. It was a good shower gel, but they have better scents. Um, and then just a few more things. Actually, not too much this one. I finished up from Aldi La Cura the Caviar Collagen Pro Firming Day Cream. Really, really like this one. Um, would definitely repurchase, but I have a lot of moisturizers to go through this year. Um, so I want to finish these ones up first. Oh, this one. Olay, Olay Regenerist Luminous Brightening and Protecting Cream SPF 20. This one was so awful. It made me break out. Um, I actually tried to use it on my legs just to use it up because I thought, okay, it's just 15 more size. Let's use it up on my legs. I'm not kidding you. It made my legs break out. So big fat no, never ever would repurchase. Then I finished up um, the Living Proof, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. I'm not a big dry shampoo person. Um, I was quite surprised how quickly that one em was empty because, as I say, I don't use dry shampoos very often. Maybe once or twice a month. So in the past when I had them, there would be a long time in my bathroom. But maybe I increased the usage a little bit in the last few months. I don't know. But... Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. I mean, dry shampoo is okay if you want to use it, but I don't feel like in my routine I need them. I did use it because I had it, but I feel like otherwise, if I feel like I need dry shampoo, I usually would just wash my hair. Sometimes I would literally feel like in the morning, oh, I should wash my hair and then put a bit of dry shampoo in it, but then wash my hair in the evening anyway. But yeah, I guess it's good for emergencies, but I wouldn't repurchase. And then last thing, empties, which is actually not empty yet. I got this for Christmas. It's a little diptyque soap. I put it on my soap dish, but I will not keep the packaging. So I will. I used it already a few times. I quite like it. Wouldn't be purchased though, because they're quite expensive for what they are. But it does smell nice, and I enjoy using it while I have it. So that's it for me today. And I'll see you next time. Bye.